Hey, this is Lee Nevis, host of CJ and Cell. Thanks for listening to the following podcast on Public House Media. This is Dr. Mariah White, host of Your Life Matters, here on Public House Media. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Once you are done with this episode, I hope you'll come check out my show, Your Life Matters, where we talk about dreaming big and dreaming bold to reach your wildest dreams in both your health and your happiness. A new show comes out every single Tuesday. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes so you'll never miss an episode of Your Life Matters. Thanks again for checking out the following broadcast on Public House Media. yourself you send a strong message to your subconscious you're saying i am worth the risk hello welcome to choose to rise welcome to today's topic we're going to be talking about bravery today and i want to talk to you about this because it is so important there are so many times in our life when we are met with a circumstance that we have this fear pop up in our world and last episode i talked about fear and how it's a liar and how you can get rid of those um, energy vampires in your life and all the things. But today I want to talk to you about bravery and what it means to show up brave and what it means to show up in life um, of unafraid of what's happening in your world. And I want to talk to you about what bravery really means and how you can use it in your life to show up and live your best life, the life that God designed for you and not the one that we're afraid to live. So Oxford Dictionary defines brave as ready to face and endure danger or pain, to show courage. A definition that I would add in there is that there's two parts to bravery. It's the ability to endure and it's courage. And I would also add that to be brave, you need both. They have to coexist in your world and to, they have equal importance in, in them. In order to also understand bravery, you must also stand, understand that it's opposite. Fear. Fear is an enemy, a cruel one at that. And we have to really learn and own that we don't always get to have the choice of which enemies show up in our life. But it's also my opinion that you also don't have to have your, let your enemies control your life. We have a great benefit to understand them, but not to let them control us. So let's, like most people, I have fear of rejection. I have fear of failure. I have fears of things that have happening in my life, but those are supposedly the two contemporary greatest human fears along the side, right? Rejection, failure, and maybe death. Um, But also understand that people are living with all kinds of fears in their life. You don't know what they might be and you don't know what their, their baggage is or what's happening in their life, but you know what's happening in your life and you can show up brave in who you are to live out your best life. There's all kinds of um, things out there about overcoming fear, and we've talked about them previously in the podcast. Today, I want to talk to you about bravery. So, un- but knowing that fear is inescapable, and that it's always going to be with you, that it's always going to be beside you in some sort of way, we're not going to let fear control us. But we need to learn how to minimize it so that it's with us. We can learn to walk beside it and be a- and have it a part of our lives, but not necessarily controlling it. So, the utmost part of bravery is the bravery is the utmost necessity in life. Fear is the thing that's going to paralyze us, while bravery is the thing that's going to set us free. Free Fear is like the thing that chooses mediocre, while bravery is the thing that takes the risk of chance, a chance that could be greatness or it could be defeat. There's that 50-50 shot in there, but fear always leads us to regret, while bravery always leads us to knowing. And bravery requires endurance because it requires persistence and perseverance. And if you're not persevering, if you're not continuing to move forward, you're staying stuck in where you're at and maybe even going backwards in life. We want to make sure that you're getting through the struggles, that you're getting through to the other side, getting through the storm to the the beautiful lush acres on the other side. The thing is that if you keep going after that you're, um, that thing is over or that you felt like you've maybe failed, bravery requires courage because first you must take the cho- choice to be at the show. You need to show up at the, at the thing, but then you also have to do the thing that's going to get you going. So if you're going to go sing at a performance, right? Your bravery is what gets you to the show, gets you signed up to be on stage. But then it's also the act to go out and sing the song. It's the act of completing and moving forward and taking, you know, the initiative to keep moving. 
I think that all people in life who have been brave or who have been uh, continue to be brave, I think about those people and what it really means for them and their situations. And I think bravery looks very different for different people. It really depends on your perspective, your life circumstances, and how you're showing up in the world now. Sometimes bravery means being the person who stands out in the crowd who speaks up and who must use their voice, either the voice they need to hear or a voice for others. Sometimes bravery means having the, the prudence to pause, to sit in silence and to be okay with that. And sometimes bravery means putting up the fight of your life, fighting till the very end. Sometimes bravery means raising up the white flag, accepting defeat in that area, learning from it and moving on without resentment and with wisdom of how you can make your life better or how you can learn from it and move forward in a different way. Sometimes bravery means to search for the things and the people who make you feel alive, to take risks, to be a long shot in something, be an outlier in, in a situation. Sometimes bravery means being grateful and content and satisfied with your state of presence. But bravery, whatever it looks like for you, I want you to show up authentically. I want you to be able to endure. I want you to be an act of courage, but also be an, also an act of love. Whether it's a thing, a person, a place, a thing, bravery must be manifested through love. Bravery always shows up through love. Whether you're being brave for yourself, be it whether you're being brave for someone else in your family, in your workplace, in your relationship you have, and also be brave must be the greatest act of love of anything that you have. Maybe it's a result in heartbreak and pain and disappointment. To be brave, you must be willing to risk the possibility of those things and to understand that while there is a risk of, of something bad happening in your life, the benefit of, of actually achieving it and getting through to the other side is so much greater than staying stuck in where you are. To be brave is to be alive and to live in such a way that the world knows that you're afraid, but you love more than you fear. And so bravery doesn't necessarily mean that you need to jump out of a plane or that you need to climb to the highest mountain or that you need to challenge yourself um, into doing majorly scary things or maybe even harmful things, but it does mean that you need to get out of your comfort zone because positive things never happen in your comfort zone. Only comfortable things happen there. So get out of your comfort zone, have a positive effect on your self-esteem, be brave. Maybe start with something small, a small challenge, like starting a new healthy habit, a new um, kindness habit, a new something in your day that's going to help you be brave, put yourself out there and live a life of courage and love and prosperity. I want you to, your confidence to soar today. I want your confidence to rise above. I want you to rise up out of your current situation and live yourself your best life. I want you to be brave today and show up in this world as the human, the loving, the kind person that God created you to be and live the life that he designed for you. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if this was something that you needed to hear and that you feel like other people need to hear, please share it. Whether you're here on the video or you're here in the podcast, I hope that something spoke to you today and that you spread the word, that you tell other people about it. It warms my heart and makes me so incredibly happy to see Choose Your Rise show up on people's news feeds on Instagram and their stories on Facebook or hear about from a friend that they heard about Choose Your Rise from them. I really appreciate all of that and I can't wait to um, be a part of more episodes with you as we move forward here out of August and into September and continue the year strong. Also, I wanted to let you know that I've recently launched a Choose to Rise uh, life coaching opportunity for you. And if you want to learn more about that, if you want to have some more one-on-one -on -one time with me, maybe you want to do some problem solving, you want to do set some life goals, work on some action plans, or just really get, you know, work through a stuck spot in your life, I would love to be that person for you. So head over to choosetoriseup.com slash daily motivation to learn more about how you can get connected and we can work together on helping you rise up out of your current situation to live your best life. Thanks again for listening. And I hope to see you back here again next week.